The latest enterprise here on Castle Farm, about 12 months ago, well probably before that, 18 months ago, we started looking into a, a sort of creating a new enterprise, um, diversification and all that. So they are in fact alpacas, um, the, the smaller cousin of the llama. And we've created our small herd here. We started with four females, um, two of which had the young, which are known as Korea, uh, last year. And we've just had our, our second crop of Korea. Um, this time we just had um, a female and a male born um, at the end of July. They are originally from the sort of mountain sides of Peru. We can't quite create that, recreate that here, at, <laughs> but they, they do quite like a hill, so they're, they're quite happy here potting around the castle. We will sort of use the fleeces and um, we've just sent off our first samples of our, our young ones and um, we'll hopefully get some good fleece um, results from those. But yeah, mainly we're a sort of breeding enterprise to, to sell the young stock on. Um, there's a good market. They're actually used as guard animals to, for use in sort of free range chickens or for, for lambing enterprises because they're, they're a very observant animal. And as you can probably tell yes. from them, they're always looking what's going on. And uh, they've got a very high pitched alarm call. So if any fox um, comes along, they kind of see them off in quite oh, a, right. an obtrusive manner. So um, they're getting more widely used for that reason. Um, also people like the sort of pet males just um, to use, you know, as pets just to keep the grass down because they're a, a relative of the, in the camelid family. So they've right. got a, the padded um, hoof so they don't you know, make a mess of your lawn or anything and uh, you know some people are finding that quite a, a you know novel animal to have in the garden they're they're wonderful really they're they're quite low maintenance um we feed them daily and um, they they like a bit of hay as well but and, and with their concentrate but uh yeah we, we trim their nails every few months and just sort of normal worming that you do with uh, with any animal really they love a dust bath yeah when we first had them we, we'd actually had a bonfire fire in, in the sort of the orchard where we'd put them and they all these four just took off straight for this pile of ash and um, within sort of minutes there was this cloud of, of ash and dust and yeah they just love a good old dust bath so actually they've, they've literally sort of dug their own here and uh, within a few weeks of being in here you've, there was a sort of bare patch and they've uh, yeah <laughs> and actually the one um, they, she'd had her feed and then she gave birth in this Gosh. pit you know it's kind of like I don't know something they're, they're quite fond of so oh, yeah. yes this poor bedraggled career is all dumped in the dust and <laughs> we couldn't tell what color it was for a while